Kate, what, how did it start? What's what is the story? I, I have a memory that it was Intel related, but I don't so, I don't remember the exact story. Well, actually, Intel was looking for an open source RTOS where they could actually contribute and do best practices. The joke when Zephyr was starting was, um, you know, the S in IoT for security was a big problem area. And how do we can actually make sure something that can scale? So at the time, Intel had Wind River was an acquisition under Intel at the time. Mm. And, Wind River had an RTOS that um, has been used in satellites and was sitting on the shelf, okay, because it was competing with some of their product line. So they turned it over to the Intel open source team, who then went and refactored it and changed it around. And since it was the Intel team that was obviously working with the Linux kernel, funnily enough, some of those things that made sense in the Linux kernel suddenly made their way into the Zephyr code base. Things like, you know, cake and fig and make and so forth. So that was the starting point for Zephyr. It was, and then we started looking around for others who wanted to join us on the journey of making sure we have a best practices RTOS for the safety, security, and so forth. And we'd, we'd had some focus groups and we tried to figure out where the problems were. And this is where things like we wanted to make sure we have the LTS from the kernel surfaced up as something as a plan for us. And we also wanted to figure out, okay, well, what does it take to do to, you know, be able to be a first class citizen on the security side? So that's kind of how it all sort of started.